Earlier this month, airbag maker Takata lost business with automakers like Honda and Toyota. Takata's airbag inflators were found to explode with excess force under certain conditions. The problem is linked to at least eight deaths and dozens of injuries globally, and tens of millions of cars have been recalled. Takata's CEO says the company plans to start using the same chemical for the propellant in its inflators as other companies do. Honda, Toyota, and Mazda said they would consider buying Takata's new inflators if their safety can be confirmed. Takata says it is trying to diversify its business to include aircraft components. In recent years, the company started supplying a small number of seatbelts to small business jets. It has also started supplying seatbelts to Japan's All Nippon Airways. Earlier in 2015, ANA started using seatbelts made by Schroth Safety Products, a German maker of seatbelts acquired by Takata in 2012. These seatbelts currently account for a small percentage of those used in ANA aircraft. Even with the loss of airbag business with automakers, Takata still expects to post a profit this financial year. But it still has to confirm with automakers how to split most of the recall expenses and faces private lawsuits and a U.S. Justice Department criminal investigation, all of which will keep burning holes in the company's pocket.